Now we have a new desktop computer multiple diagnostic card. And let's start to learn some features and components on this uh, desktop test card first. As we can see from the top of this uh, desktop PC diagnostic card, there are lots of um, um, LEDs uh, available. These LEDs help to indicate the motherboard basic uh, activities as well. We have um, different type of voltage LEDs, um, also a motherboard activities LEDs like IRDY frame, also, um, the run LED here, it is a great indicator for the CPU processors. If CPU is not working, run LEDs is not going to turn on at all. Okay, um, ready LEDs is, is for showing the status of the test car, if it is ready or not. Okay, the stable and unstable a L LED um, at the top right corner here, that is for the unit motherboard stability test features on this desktop diagnostic card. This motherboard stability test is not available in any other brand of PC diagnostic cards on the market. Also, we can get the motherboard stability test um, procedures at the back of the test card here. So we have step by step to do the quick multiple stability test instead of um, using software to burn and test the uh, multiple anymore. <coughs> On the top right corner here we have a, a switch button for us to press to go back to look back to the previous codes we have so we can get more reference as needed. And also we have six digit codes here. The left four digit codes are the factory Qiguan code. We can call factory codes. The right most smaller Two digits are the traditional BIOS codes. These BIOS codes have been invented more than twenty, uh, sorry, more than ten years ago, and this uh, model, uh, these BIOS codes are using on all PC diagnostic cards on the market now. This is the original um, technologies in the PC diagnostics, but sometimes we may find the BIOS codes are not clear enough, and so we will get the you know, factory codes to help us to troubleshoot the multiple more accurate. So we get extra reference, two sets of codes, BIOS code and the factory codes. Take a look, take a closer look at the lower right corner of the two digit BIOS codes. We have two small dots here, small dots here. Each represent the reset, L, reset, RST reset signal and CLK crack signals. Once we press the power buttons on the desktop computers, these LEDs will flash on or remains on all the times or remains off. That depends on our multiple working conditions. For a working motherboard, reset LED should flash one or couple times quickly. And CLK LED should flash for a while and then turns off itself. Okay, um, also this test card allows a um, extension of the available future upgrades. We can connect the you know optional LCD panels on the top left corner here with the gold pins for the LCD display press. We can connect the external LCD bus to show the diagnostic results on that panels. And also we have uh, audio socket audio cable sockets and the uh, speaker. This is this set of the speaker is unique on this V5 version. This is actually a V5 plus version. O original V5 version doesn't come with these speakers for because but this is the unique card with the speakers and the audio cable built in. Um, the audio cables we can we should connect one side to the audio socket and the other side the other side of the cable will go to the speaker 
um, take a closer look. One cable it comes with red red marks, and the other one it just white, plain plain right. Um, the one with the red marks should go to the positive speaker pins on the motherboard, and the other goes to the other end of the speaker pins. So, so we get the uh, digital diagnostic codes. Six digit diagnostic codes, we get LED diagnostic codes, and also we get B codes as well. So, this is a very nice, capable PC diagnostic card. Uh, on top of the standard PCI connectors, we have a small, small chipset here. This chipset is an intelligent smart chipset. It consists of two different types of diagnosis the BIOS diagnosis and the factory diagnosis. This is not a uh, single engine BIOS code cars on the market. This is a uh, better engine like uh, multi dual diagnosis chipset. It is a very capable and powerful card and chipset for the most accurate and reliable PC diagnostics. All right. And again, this is William. Uh, next, I will show you how to use this diagnostic card on a desktop computer um, and try to let it auto scan the motherboard um, automatically for the any for the hardware that causing no post right now in front of me is a uh, nice blue PSU testers for testing desktop computer power supply units. First of all, let's take a look. We have many different types of LEDs for different voltage, and also we have different type of connectors 20 pins, 24 pins. This connector is for the motherboard power supply connectors. We can unplug. The power connectors on the motherboard to and connected to this connector here. Okay, and this this is the original ID hard drive or CD-ROM power connectors. We can plug that from the CD-ROM and connect it here. Also, we have four pin, eight pin, and six pins motherboard video system power connectors. We need to connect it connect them here one by one also if we have a floppy drive power connector we can connect it here as well on the other side we can see the SATA hard drive power connectors we can connect it here to test the SATA power connectors to make sure all these power system connectors have sufficient voltage and working properly Okay, um, see here. We also have a complete instructions written on top on the on top of these uh, PSU testers. Uh, for example, after we connect the, connect the 24 pins power connectors, multiple power connectors to this tester, we should see all LEDs on the right side will turn on to indicate a working power supply, but Please pay attention on the sometimes 5V is okay to remain off to indicate a working power supply because negative 5V is for earlier power supply units with like uh, Pentium single core or 586 systems with ISA bus. So now newer computers don't have that ISA bus. So this negative 5V it is okay to remain off to indicate a working power supply unit. So again, two power supply units, all LED on or all LED upset negative 5V off. And next I'm going to put this nice all-in-one PSU testers to use on a desktop computers. After watching the videos, if there's any questions to ask, um, please follow the instructions, clear instructions at the front of the, this PSU tester or send me an email. I would like to help you.
Thanks for watching. Now we have a nice desktop PC diagnostic kit, the PSU tester and the motherboard diagnostic card. And we also have a desktop computers with no post, no display problems. So first we will try to use the blue PSU tester to find out if the power supply unit it is working or not. And next we will use the diagnostic card to auto scan the motherboard to see if there's any faulty hardware. Alright, <coughs> take the motherboard power connectors and then connect it to the power supply unit tester. Okay, from the right we can see all LEDs are on except the negative 5V's LED is off. Okay, this negative 5V LED is for earlier computers like Pentium 586 computers with ISA bus. And the newer computers don't have this ISA bus at all, so this LED is okay to remain off. Only this negative 5V LED is okay to remain off. All the others LED are on, so this power supply unit on the system, it is a working power supply unit. We can also connect the different power connectors to the, this power supply unit, all in one power supply unit, to find out if they are working or not. Um, the four pins, power LEDs, we can test four pins, six pins, eight pins, and five pins. Just connect this 4 pin first and see if we get the 12 V LED on or not. Okay, here we go. The left side plus 12 V LED is on. So this 4 pins power LED it is working. This is probably for the video system. Also, we can take a hard drive, um, hard drive connector or SATA, SATA connectors um, we can find out if these connectors are working alright here we go 12V and 5V both on okay so this is a working um, hard drive power connectors also there are clear instructions printed on this PSU um, combo tester so we get all the information we need for the power systems. Next, we will need to remove all this connector, put it back to the mobile, and use the other mobile motherboard diagnostic card to auto scan the motherboard for the faulty hardware. Okay, here we go. I also connect. Remember to connect the. The other four or six digit or oh, sorry four six or eight pins power a video system power connector as well. Otherwise the computer will not will never get a post screen. Okay, here we go. We have this connector as well. So next, we connect the install the PCI motherboard diagnostic card to the computer PCI slot. Okay, and next is power on the computer and see, and let the diagnostic card to auto scan the motherboard for the 40 hour. The LED here on that is just a standby power indicator.
And now let's see what we have here. Okay, we have BIOS code on the right, two small digits, 04 right now, and uh, uh, the other four digits are the battery codes, 15DE, and top rows LEDs, plenty of them, help to indicate the multiple basic activities. Also, please pay attention at the lower right corner of BIOS code 0 and 4. Again, the lower right corner of 0 and 4, there are two small dots indicating the reset and clock activity of the mobile. We can, once we press the power button, they will flash, remains on or remains off, depends on the multiple working condition. Right now we see these two small dots never fresh, never on, so there probably some components are uh, not properly connected. Okay, so we will next proceed to the menu to follow the step-by-step -step instruction there to interpret these codes easily and find out what's wrong with our computer.